everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video of the 25 days of canvas series we are going to be designing poly millers so let's just get right into it i'm gonna hit create a design and i'm gonna do custom sizes um you want to do this because it depends on what size poly miller that you're going to be ordering the sizing that i'm using is the canvas size for the mock-up that you'll see me create later on in the video um so what i'm going to do is just enter those measurements which is 1967 wide by 2522 pixels high and i'm going to hit create a new design so this basically is our poly miller um what you want to do of course is just add whatever information that you want to go on your poly mailer. this one will be a two-sided design so a full front and back um a lot of companies don't print both sided poly mailers, but i will give you all a few vendors um as to where you can get your poly mailers printed um, what i want to do is just find, i guess find my model first i don't really know hmm. yeah okay i'll just go ahead and choose the models which i want to use them and i kind of want this background to be the background but of course i can't just like extend it it'll make them like th well that is kind of cute <laughs> <laughs> let's see okay so I have a different idea so I'm gonna not do that okay I'm gonna click on the background and I'm just gonna pull from their photo which is pretty much that and that matched perfectly actually hmm I didn't expect for that color to match as perfect as it did. Usually you'll see like a line where one of them is maybe darker or lighter. Oh, I can kind of see it, but you can't. If you ain't all up in my business, you can't see it, okay? So, um, just to make this a very simple design, I think I'm going to add, well, maybe hmm, a gradient maybe. Let's fade them out and see how that looks. I think I need to grab the dropper tool for this one. And I'm just gonna duplicate it a few times and spread it out along. Uh oh, spread it out along where I want it. All right, so that was a lot for no reason. Um, I'm gonna select all of those Group them together and resize them. Like that, just to give it kind of a faded effect. Um, I'm going to use, I guess, one of my logos that I created. Okay, so Glam Hair was just like a random project that I started um, just to give me some content and help me promote the work that I am able to do. Um, a while back, like end of last year, well, all of last year, I refused to do logos. And then around December of last year, I was like, I'm going to practice so that I can at least start getting the hang of making logos and post them and see how people feel about them. So Glam Hair was one of my first logos that I created just to get me started with doing logos. And it's crazy, I went from I'm never doing logos, I don't wanna do logos, that's not what I wanna do, to making them like, I think I've done about 30 logos if not more
this is unnecessary but i just want to add <laughs> a little bit more to the design because the front part is really um the easy part like it's not that much that we're gonna be doing okay so right here i wanted to um place it like behind her but i didn't remove the background of their photo so when i put it behind her it's not gonna look right it's gonna look like that chopped off so i'm not gonna use that one but if you do want to try and place elements behind your models Go ahead and just remove the background from the photo and do it that way. Let me see if I can find. Or if I use a background, it's going to have to be removed. So, okay, this is pretty much it for the front of the polymeller. On the back, we're going to add a little bit more information like social medias um website and things like that so all i'm gonna do is just add a page and i'm gonna go back up here and name this page just front and then this one be, will be the back okay so the mock-up that i'm going to be using does have a space for a shipping label so i may try to create one of those just for the sake of the mock-up or i might just find one really quickly on google but we'll see so, on the back of your polymilla, remember that you're going to have a flap um, somewhere up in this area. I know mine is probably not going to be perfect right now because I don't know exactly where it is on the mock-up. So, what you would do is um, just kind of imagine this space. I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to place it about right here. I know it's probably going to be so off, but it's okay. <laughs> Um, the way that you turn on your rulers, you come up here into file and show rulers and guides. And you can turn them off like that and then turn them on the same way. So I have this space right here just to let me know that remember there's a flap on your polymellers. Don't um, put any information up there in that area. So for the back, I just want to add like social media handles and the website. So I'm going to add some text. And let's see if we can find a font. So I recently added some new fonts into Canva. I'm going to try to util utilize those different ones in different um, videos. This one probably won't have any because I didn't get any really like thin, small fonts. Um, pretty much all of the fonts that I did download were bold, like that, bold fonts or cursive. And this doesn't really call for those. Oh, maybe this one. I think this is a new one and it's called Lane. Um, I have the narrow version, whatever this is. Let me zoom in. What? Why does it look like that? Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, it looks like a candy cane, like a striped. Oh, okay. I don't like it, but it's cute. Let's see what posh is. Oh, I like that one. And oh, I like that one. Okay, new fonts. Okay, the font is called Lane. Um, when I downloaded whatever, when I downloaded Lane, it came with the other versions of it. So if you did like those. Go ahead and download them and add them to your Canva. I have gotten quite a few questions about um, how to upload fonts to Canva. Um, we did that a few videos ago, not in the 25 days of Canva series, but there is a video um, in the Canva tutorials playlist that walks you through uploading fonts to your Canva. I will go ahead and put it in the cards if you are interested in that video. But yeah, we did that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just create the areas for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. 
these really are i don't think i'll be forgetting which ones i want to use okay so as far as business pages um it's important to have all the same names for each one like your facebook like mine for instance everything is evadimated uh tiktok facebook instagram twitter all of them they're all evadimated um, but sometimes people do, I won't say steal your name, but probably get to it before you. So this is really for those who have different names for each one. Usually I would just put, line them all up horizontally and um, just put the name under it. But I'm just going to make some little button things and put the same name over and over. But yeah, as a business owner, it's very important to have your social media pages at least be very similar to the same name. Like a lot of people have businesses and then their social media for their businesses is the same as their personal pages. Don't do that. And I'm no way in, like, I'm not a business coach or anything like that, but it's just, it's tacky for your business why am i looking at facebook logos for your business and your personal pages to be the same thing like i'm coming to see what type of purses you sell but i'm watching your kids and like i i don't know it's just i don't want to see that like every now and then i'll post my daughter on tiktok but like she made a commercial for me to promote templates I don't use her in like funny videos or anything like that. Okay, so what color do I want this? I think I'm gonna make them all white. Um, and then make the blue part white. Okay, so let's just use those three and then I'm gonna make my little rectangle things that I seem to have to do for everything I make. Position it to the back. And I'm going to round the corners a tad. All right, this is really, your poly millers are like a really simple design. I think people just struggle with what they wanna put on it. Like, um, because usually it's just like a picture and the information. It's not really too much work. I really don't like these circle things because they don't, line up how I want them and I'm really about to have a, ten a temper tantrum about it Facebook is probably the only one that's gonna work oh wait Twitter might work too because I don't want the curve to be showing there so maybe I'll just turn the corner rounding down a little bit you can still tell it's there but I'm not gonna um have a tantrum I'm gonna be okay uh, and then I'm going to make these all the same because this one's at 30. So I need to put the other two at 30. But yeah, I think the hardest part about creating a poly miller is trying to figure out what you want your design to be. See like that. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to move it down some because I'm scared that flap is still going to be in my way. Um, is this at the top? Okay, no, it's not. And all you have to do is just type in your social media information, which I'm just going to duplicate that and put glam hair. I know a lot of people like to put the um at in front of their handles. 
I only do it if the customer requests that it's there, but I feel like it's kind of common sense that you put at in front of, I don't know. I guess it depends, preferences, whatever. So that's pretty much it for the back of it, but I am going to go and try to add a little bit more. Um, I'll probably use this one and just remove the background. Okay, and I'm just going to like place her over here somewhere under where we marked off the flap. And now I think I want her above. The... Okay. I was going to like turn the transparency down a little bit. But now I want it like that. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the clouds that we used earlier on the front of the polymeller and add a few of those. Oh, it was in my um starred. Okay. I was about to say that is not the same cloud. Okay. And then I'm just gonna move this one. I don't want that one, I don't like that one. Don't even know why I saved it. Okay, so I kinda want this side of the cloud and not that one, so I'm just gonna come up here and flip it. It's not a big deal, but. <laughs> oh, it's gonna move her. Okay, there we go. Just something like that and turn down the transparency a little bit just to add a little bit more to the flyer. And this is a like a really simple design. Um, Nope, I don't know how I feel about those. We're gonna get rid of those. Let's try some diamonds, I guess. I did wanna put like a marble on it. Let me see if I like this. You can't really see it, but. If you want to add like some texture to the back of your um to the background. I actually like that, but then I'm gonna have to come here and remove the background on this one so I can add it behind them. And that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so now the background has been removed from them. I'm gonna apply it. And, oh, it went back automatically. Okay, and then I'm gonna just um, come back and grab that same marble. And place it behind this as well. That way it just gives your polymiller a little texture in the background, adds a little bit more to it. But if there isn't anything else that you want to add to your polymeller, go ahead and down your, download your design. Um, we're going to go ahead and create the mock-up. I am using Photoshop for the mock-up. Um, the mock-up that I have doesn't work in Canva, so I can't use it in Canva. Um, so we're going to go to Photoshop, do that, and then we're just going to look at a few vendors um, towards the end of the video. All right, so we are in Photoshop. Um, and all we're going to do is just add the designs we created in Canva onto the mock-up. Um, this can be used just to give your clients an idea of how their polymeller design will look, print it out, or, um, you can use this for like, um, flyers and things like your order has shipped type of flyers, you know, 
like that. So we're gonna do the front first. This is the layer for the front. All I'm gonna do is grab our Poly Miller design. Grab our Poly Miller design and drag and drop it onto here. Oh, that fit perfect. Duh, because I picked out the sizes. <laughs> Okay, so all I have to do is save it and go back into the mock-up and it'll be on the bag. So as you can see, it's kind of ugh looking, which we're going to fix that right now. Um, all you have to do is go into like the highlights and shadows. Sometimes there's another one where you can just change the color completely and just turn off whatever you don't want on. See, I like for mine to be really bright like that so you're able to see them on flyers and things that I use them for. So now we have this one. And all I'm going to do is go in and add the back one by going into the design folder and selecting back. All right, so as you know, I didn't know where the flap was on this one, but we're just gonna see, fingers crossed, that it comes out right. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted, but the um, shipping label does cover up. And I can't turn it off, okay. Uh, whatever, you're not gonna see it on my flyer or on my thumbnail, you're probably not gonna see it but it does cover up the other information we know it's there so it's okay so for the back flap all i'm gonna do is reapply this portion of the design and just size it to fit in that little area so i'm going to close these other layers because i don't need them anymore but i'm going to come right here to where it says back flap and double click on that to open it why is it long this way that's weird okay and I'm just gonna grab the back of the back of the Poly Miller design. So I'm probably gonna have to reposition this one because I don't understand why this box is so big. They should have just made it the size of the flap. Oh, but if it okay, it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. I'm gonna move her down a little bit because you can see her head right there. Hello, where are we going? You can see her head right there so basically i'm just gonna stretch it I did not mean to stretch it that far down but let's just see like that all right so now you have a mock-up of your poly Miller designs which can be sent like like i said it could be sent to show your client hey this is what your poly Miller is gonna look like once it get printed it's just to give you a visual idea um or it can be used for different types of flyers. All right, so I'm gonna save these. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is, let me see. Okay, usually in mockups you can turn off one full one and leave the other one on, but it doesn't let me do that in this. So I'm gonna save it, crop it, and then I'll have two separate files. All right, so now that we've had, we've designed our poly mailers, um and we're ready to order them for printing we're going to find a vendor so the first vendor that i want to show you all is sticker mule um this is the first one because this is the only person that i've gotten um poly mailers printed from i have not tried any other vendor when it comes to poly mailers. The only thing with sticker mule, they don't do full printing. So for instance, as you can see, like in this preview, there's a white border around it. That's what your, um, that's how your poly mailers will be. See how it doesn't full bleed on the poly mailers. That's, that's just how, that's how they do. <laughs> they don't print the full packaging which wasn't a big deal for me because my background on my poly mailers is white anyway but just keep that in mind when you are ordering poly mailers from them so right here is pretty much the sizing that you can get for um your poly mailers 
they do go up to like a really big size 14 that's big but these are the sizing and the quantities for their poly millers um so yeah if you are interested in purchasing poly millers from sticker mule i can say that their products are amazing i've gotten keychains made from them poly millers custom bubble millers um stickers um i've gotten quite a few things from sticker mule so this would be my go-to for uh printing just to take a look at other vendors that i have not used so i can't speak on whether they are good vendors or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and look at another one all right so another vendor that we have is vista print um i think i maybe ordered a client's business cards from here but other than that i have not used vista print <laughs> um they do have poly millers as well um same thing with them they don't do full bleed so your picture will have that white border around it. So we'll just keep that in mind when you are ordering from them. The sizing is, mm, their poly millers are bigger than sticker mules. And these are a few of the prices. Of course, the more you order, the more of a discount you get. But yeah, that's the pricing for those. All right, and for the last vendor, um, Etsy does have shops that print, um, that have, oh my gosh, Etsy does have shops that print poly millers. Um, most of these are templates, but if you scroll, you can find some that will add your logos to the poly millers. Only thing with ordering them from Etsy, there are a lot of um, vendors that are located in China. So please be sure to read through the product descriptions and make sure you check like the shipping dates and stuff because a lot of the vendors on Etsy are in China, which is why I didn't mention Alibaba, which is another um, website where you can order custom printed poly millers and other things for your business. The only thing is, all of those people are across seas like they're going to it is cheaper but you have to order it's more affordable but you have to order in large quantities and of course it's going to take however long it takes for them to get here i haven't ordered anything from alibaba since i stopped my lip gloss business so it's been a while but depending on the vendor it could take two weeks um or even longer to get things from there so i hope that you all enjoyed this video um if you do create you some poly millers for your business um i do want to see them if you need a mock-up created i will do a free mock-up for you um just send me your design let me know that you watched the video and you just want a quick mock-up done of your design that you created and i will do that for you Okay, that's my little gift to my subscribers just to show my appreciation for you all watching this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop.